Hey guys, it's your boy. We are back with more Marvel Feature Bite content, and today we are talking about the combat superhero ABX with the Moon Knight and of course Valkyrie as well. Now we have done the Valkyrie ABX before and Moon Knight uh, ABX before as well. Although let's just take a look at the cards. So I I got 60% physical attack here and the procs about 62 to 63% physical attack on the cards. Not too high, and. Yeah, we are gonna be using She-Hulk with the insight, so definitely the best uh, that we can get. Now, Moon Knight uh, right now looks like this 60% critical rate, although the critical rate, by the way, the, the skill cooldown is way up because I got this card today when I opened the premium card chest. So I'm pretty happy about that that I was able to finish that uh, collection bonus, which is gonna help me out a lot in the near future. Anyhow, this is the build, how it looks like. Although the run that I'm gonna be showing you is actually with the 57 critical rate, not the 60. So, but anyways, no worries, it's not gonna make a huge difference. Four bonus blessings on Moon Knight. Last year roll for ignore defense. All skills are of course level six. Tap enhancement zero, overdrive, or it's Hawkeye, sorry, Hawkeye. And a CTP of energy with a mythic uniform with only two out of the six, five uniform options. I was thinking to get Domino. I never got Domino. I might get Domino. I'm not sure Domino. <laughs> let's let's take a look at Valkyrie's build now. So everything else is basically capped out, but we are missing 6% attack speed, which is gonna hurt my Valkyrie uh, for sure, uh, because she needs attack speed, man. And she got eight Odin's blessings on her, the way uh, that she that she is built for the combat female. I might make some changes later on. All skills are level six. Tap enhancement, nothing, and then overdrive. I might change it to power Ang angry hell to get the attack speed, but I'm not really sure right now. Maybe later on. CDP of Rage and of course with a Mythic Uniform with 4 out of the 5 Uniform options. Uh, which are these. So uh, I would like to say one more thing before going into the runs. That uh, the run that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, with that uh, Valkyrie, you you need to have Rage. You need to have Rage on Valkyrie. And I'm still working on the White Fox uniform because the White Fox uniform is a uniform option for Valkyrie. I'm trying to get it done. Anyhow, let's just jump into the two runs that I'm going to show you. First run is actually going to be with Moon Knight. Rotation we all know, like for a long time, 3 cancel, 5 cancel, 6. There we go. Let it run. Let it run. As he jumps back, now 1 cancel, 3 cancel, 5, 4. Now, some people like to use 3 cancel, 5 cancel, 4. And I like to use the first skill after the 6 skill. So the reason I use the first skill after the 6 skill, I know it can give you some issues sometimes. So if you want to really conserve your procs, you can run uh, peacefully with that uh, 3 cancel, 5 cancel, 4 rotation. Although the first skill, I use it because it puts you close to the enemy, close to the beast. And you would see sometimes if the beast is uh, even a little bit far, from that range from the from you you will be able to use the fifth skill but you will not be able to trigger your fourth skill and it can give you issues sometimes with your procs so i try to not take any risk about that although the roar cancelling with this is going to be really easy burn season three cancel five cancel four easy cancel and of course do not cancel the third skill before the bomb slots so what i try to do right now you will not be able to get the proc because we have a I think it's a 100% damage proc. I'm not sure. I think it's a 100% damage proc on the third skill. Although, so this is the issue. That was the issue. So he jumped and we definitely surely missed that fourth skill damage. We could not get the proc on the fourth skill. Sometimes it happens. I know it's not something that you can control all the time because if beast jumps, he jumps and you cannot really do anything. So it's not like you can control it, but at least try to at least control it on the sixth skill rotation. Otherwise, of course, you can run as you want. It's going to be really easy cancels. Uh, but uh, again, like it's going to be very easy to cancel the rowers and stuff like that. I like CTP of energy better than rage. Uh, I have said that before as well. CTP of energy is good enough for Moon Knight. Of course, rage would be the absolute best. But a reforged CTP of energy would be the best for Moon Knight. For sure. Like these reforged CTPs are really crazy, man. Like, uh, like rage needs to be reforged. <laughs> I'm not saying they should in introduce the reforged rages. It's just that you know, <laughs> CDP of energy taken the taken the shot. But again, you should not be looking at the brilliant CDPs. 
most of the people, if we try to do that, are going to be able to just, of course, do the mighty CDP of energy. Maybe if we are going to reforge. I have not reforged it. I'm not really sure if I'm going to reforge it ever or not. I, I think I will, but I'm not sure, really sure when. Anyhow, we are at 6.9 million. We are moving towards the cap right now. And we just scored 7 million. Not the cap. Sorry, the 7 mil cap is now 12 million. And nobody can score 12 million for now. Not even cable, which sucks. Anyways, so let's use the last awakened skill that we have in the box. 7.4 million right there. And we should be ending up with about uh, 6. Oh, 7.66 million. 7.6665. Okay. 7.66 million with Moon Knight. Not bad. Even after the changes, it's it's hard to score over 7 million now. Now, Valkyrie and Moon Knight switching combo. We are going to starting off with Valkyrie. 3 cancel 5. We have rotation. And then 6 skill right there. Cancel it right here so that we get the damage as well. Now, 3 cancel 1 or 3 cancel 2 and then switch to Moon Knight really quickly. It does not matter if you let run with the Valkyrie. Don't actually just stall a lot because Moon Knight will also do great amount of damage. So I just want to test it out and see if the switching will give you more score or not. Although the switching only give you only will give you more score if you have a rage on Valkyrie. Now I have not been able to try. And of course, try to switch just like we switch on Mystique and Hawkeye combo. Just like we used to switch on the uh, Dr. Octopus and Mystique combo as well. So, of course, you can do that. It's not going to be really hard to do it. And of course, as you get, as you, you know, get used to it, it's going to be very easier. So, this is definitely uh, a better team than what we had uh, the solo. Solo scores really good, although... If you don't have Rage, Solo will be the best as well. So, it all depends if you have your Valkyrie built or not. And not just having Rage. Not just Rage, built Valkyrie. Maybe you will not be able to see. And the reason why I will, you will, you might actually not see a huge difference in the score from the Solo run to this run. I think the reason could simply be uh, that my, my Valkyrie, uh, like she's built. But, uh, like, she's not, like, crazy and, you know, I have, like, bunch of Odin's Blessing. She's stacked up with stuff like that. So, if you have a normal, like, of course, the Valkyrie uniform is amazing. Transcend Valkyrie can be used on Null. Multiple uses as a character. She can do 99 uh, Color Obsidian. I, I don't know. I'm not sure about Color Obsidian, though. But she can do Proxima for sure and other bosses. She can perform really good on Null Solo as well. And she can be used as a support as well. So, she has her uses. Although some people might have the uniform but might not actually have it upgraded because of course it's a premium character and you will need either a lot of bios so if you have like pre uh, the bio sub running on something like that or uh, of course you will have to spend those uh, uniform exp tickets which I had uh, yes I spent a mega on my Valkyrie uh, to get it to mythic the only mega that I had so if you are if you have like a normal uniform with the Valkyrie, you might not be able to uh, score more. I'm not truly really sure. I have not able to try it because, of course, how can I try it? I have a Mythic Uniform, man. So, I cannot really try it right now. So, if you guys have it, you guys can do the testing uh, yourself and test out if you are scoring more with the Valkyrie uh, or if you're scoring uh, more actually solo because... We just got past our best, which was 7.66, and we are moving towards the 8 million right now, which looks really good. So, 7.94, really close to 8 million, not bad. So, in the summary, I would definitely say the combo is better than the solo Moon Knight. Although, if you have reforged Moon Knight, if I had reforged CTP on my Moon Knight with the all attack and all defense, I think... I will be able to outscore the combo as well. So I think it's all going to depend if you have the refill energy or not. Refill energy gives you like 20%. I think 20% is the best on Mighty, I think, if I'm not wrong. And Brilliant is just amazing. So I'm not really sure if anyone is going to go for Brilliant. Although, for Valkyrie, uh, it's a possibility that X23, because she is a combat now, she looks really good on paper. And we still have 7 to 8 days for the uniform to come out. So I'm really excited to test it out. If she will be a contender 
to replace Valkyrie for the combat female, but I do have a feeling that because it's a vegan skill character, we will be switch playing both the characters Valkyrie and X23 with the Red Sheha, uh, with the She-Hulk leadership, which is really good. So yes, we will do testing at all. Although the combo is definitely better. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the run. And as always, if you like the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. I don't want to see the face. Man, she looks disgusting. <laughs>